face on Dream 30. If she's will it truly missing, that's a fair bit of chinwag, eh, Walt? What say we keep eyes on yon door to see which of these riffraff make for it so we can prop up... Zooks, chap! That doesn't bally well change the whole game. It's into the woods in the bleeding night time, is it? Now, if we're going to plan, we'll need to do it walking. Right oh, steady on chum. Can't lose our payday. Mm. Who back there? When do this job? When fine lady? When get close to Mavis? Man on yellow cow no stop when. I say, chap, by the first order, my friend Ferdinand here is a single crested eastern dune trotter of the order dromedary. A cattle, good sir. By the second point of order, we are well aware of your intention to find Lady. And we've come to ensure that your endeavors prove successful. Hmm. Order. Points. Yes. You work for when. You get money when when get money. But less than when. Capital. I'd have it no other way, chum. Leadership's a game for a strong mind and a strong will. And I prefer to leave it to some other drip. Best for everybody, says I. Yes. Nice peel. Bit of a sticky wicket being out here at night, past where the guards patrol. <laughs> by the by, old chum, how'd you expect to find a woman out here in the dark night, especially under so much tree cover? Them say lady went on ride. Ride mean horse. When I look for lady, when look for horse. If lady on path, lady done miss. When look for spot where horse leave path. Horse big. Who's heavy? Men on yellow cow not smart like when. When see all things. Fools, you have entered my domain. A mistake, the likes of which you will never again replicate. <laughs> Show, madam, I hadn't the foggiest you were hereabouts, and a good job you were. If you work for when, and find lady, when pay you same as man on yellow cow. <coughs> now, hold a moment, what's this old stepping chap and his spiky vined lackeys? Mightn't they be related to our quarry? Hello? Honestly, the rudeness on display. Yes, of course I've lit a torch. I can't belly well search without one. And growl and grumble all you'd like, but you both see better in the light, and you damnably well know it. It's a good thing I have lit a torch, or we'd have walked straight on past. Bravo for practicality! Look here, I say. The game trail crosses the path, and if that's not a horse track square in the middle, then I'm not Terence Riverforder. Perhaps she was waylaid and forced to make this detour? <coughs> ah, just a single track. She was alone. <coughs> what south? Back toward the river, then? <coughs> I've heard of leading a horse to water, but into it, there's no cause for travelling through the water unless... Lady not missing. Lady gone on purpose. Hey -oh, what is up every people? Blue back here again, and in episode two we got to see a little bit of what those tunes you've chosen can do in a scrap. So what's every people thinking? Is this a dead end for their search? How might they go about finding the Lady Sandrine now? She'll be damn tough to track through that water if that is what's happening. Or maybe she didn't walk through the river at all. Maybe she met a boat. 
maybe, I don't know, the group just needs to kind of ask around, see if they can find somebody who saw something and is talking. Or maybe they can find some way to use more or stronger senses. Is there a clever way that they might gain a bird's eye view? Or um, gain the use of something with a good sense of smell, like we use bloodhounds. Or maybe they'll just stubbornly keep searching anyway. They could try following the river up or downstream and see if the trail picks back up. As always, chuck your ideas down there in the comments and please mush up on my like and subscribe buttons down there in my downstairs mix-up. And I will see you next time in episode three.